Hey guys, what's up? This is John, and in this video, I'm going to show you a few ways to do drum replacement in Reaper. Let's start out with the technique that I showed you in the Q&A video a few weeks ago, and that's using dynamic split and then inserting a sample to replace the media source. So that's really quick to do. Start with selecting your kick drum or snare drum track. Right click and go to item processing and dynamic split items. You zoom in and you make sure that these four hits are, are kicks and this is a snare. So we want to just quickly verify that there's no triggers on the snare part. Right here, there's a miss trigger in here. You just pull this back until all those miss triggers are gone. And let's split. And then let's duplicate the track. Press command D to duplicate. Check your action list if that is not duplicate for you. Now we're going to take this track and deselect this first item uh, because we're not replacing this clip, we're just replacing all these chopped up drum hits. I'm going to open up our Media Explorer. I already have a sample chosen. I'm going to take the hard three kick. I'm going to right click this and use as media source for selected items. Okay, and now let's blend that in. There's one little weird thing that happened there. This item was longer than the file, so it started looping it. So you just have to watch out for any of the long sections or disable the uh, loop item source. Now let's use dynamic split to generate MIDI. So I'm gonna take the snare top, bring up dynamic split again. I've got a button on my toolbar for that. So I have the snare track selected. I can zoom in real close and can barely see that there's a trigger right in the right spot. Turn off grid lines. Might be a little easier to see. So the only lines that we see here are those trigger lines. And wherever there's a trigger line, that's where there's going to be a split. So that's all correct. We're going to use this option here, create chromatic MIDI item from slices. I hit split, it's going to make a new track, and it's going to put in a MIDI file with a note for each slice. All right, so there we go. This is our MIDI interpretation of this item. Uh, let's double click this and do some cleanup. First thing, there's a miss trigger here. This note corresponds to no transient, so uh, that first note you always want to delete. Next, these are all sending on different notes from C minus one up to however many transients there were in that track. Command A, and you want to open up your uh, note properties. Then we want to send this to a snare, so that's, I believe it's 38. All right. And then these are all pretty low level compared to what we're seeing here in the track. So uh, let's just bump up that velocity a little bit. Up to about 101. All right, so we can close that. Now we need to send it to a track. All right, so I have Easy Drummer 2 loaded up on a new track and it has just the snare samples and the kick samples loaded up. So we're going to make a send from that snare trigger track, the MIDI track, make a send to that track, and then open up our send controls and turn off the audio send. We're just sending MIDI. Don't need to worry about any of the other settings here. It's just going to send what is in that MIDI file. All right, and let's see if that works. See it's being triggered. Oh, 
always check your phase with the trigger tracks. Now, if we don't like that snare, it's just a simple matter of choosing a different snare. Now I'm going to show you how to send MIDI using a plugin. Let's do this kick drum track again. I'm going to insert uh, Regate on the kick drum track. Make this a really fast attack and fast release. I'm going to set this to um, do about 100. That usually works. We don't want this gate to be active on the original kick. So we're going to turn the wet all the way down. We don't want the signal to be cut off, so we make it dry, 0% wet, and then send MIDI note 32. All right, so now we send to Easy Drummer. Again, we disable the audio portion, just sending MIDI, and let's see if that worked. I think I'm sending the wrong note, 34. I always forget that. All right, so that's using Regate as an audio to MIDI trigger. Another option is to use the Stillwell Drum Trigger plugin in the JS folder. We just search for drum in the JS plugin list, you will find it. And I don't like it as much as using Regate. It doesn't seem to work as well. And what I mean is that it doesn't seem to send a useful velocity, it's way too low. It's sending just a really tiny signal. So if you want to use that plugin, uh, you need to also adjust the velocity. So you can grab this MIDI velocity control, put it after the drum trigger, and then you can add maybe 40 to it, maybe 60 to it. All right, so that's better. And now we have this directly on the kick drum track, so uh, mix in the original signal 100%. Okay guys, there you go. There's four different ways of augmenting your mix with drum samples using simple tools and functions available with Reaper. So I hope you found this useful. Hope you can use this in your own mixes to get better drum sounds, get better mixes. Thanks for liking, sharing, subscribing and check out reaperblog.net for more tutorials. Thanks guys, bye.